Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for clicking on 5 News Web News. It is Thursday, April 11th. I'm Brittany Hoke. And I'm Matt Heckel, and here are some of the top stories we've been following today here on 5 News. New gun control laws will take center stage today as the Senate prepares to vote on revamp legislation. That's right. Senator Joe Manchin and Pennsylvania's Republican Senator Pat Toomey believe that their agreement to expand background checks for gun buyers would keep firearms away from criminals and the mentally ill. The way they want to do this plan is to have background checks applied to commercial sales that are done at gun shows and online. Now, the sales would be required to go through licensed firearms dealers, and the records from those transactions would have to be kept on file. Under their plan, there are some transactions that wouldn't be subject to background checks, though, such as those exchanges between family members. Manchin and Toomey came up with this framework after both parties couldn't reach common ground about background checks. Conservatives have been objecting to additional record keeping, fearing that it could be a step towards a national gun registry. Nobody's going to take anybody's guns. Nobody's going to take anybody's rights away from them. What we're doing is protecting, really, law-abiding gun owner uh, like myself uh, and also protecting the public from people who shouldn't have guns not to have them. Now, Manchin said that since the tragedy in Newtown, both sides must find common ground. Toomey said that he considers expanded background checks common sense and not gun control. Well, we've now learned that the man accused of killing the Mingo County Sheriff was not supposed to be able to buy a gun. Mingo County Prosecutor Michael Sparks said a breakdown in the reporting system enabled Tennis Maynard to buy a gun. Sparks calls it, quote, an inexcusable delay. We still don't know why Maynard wasn't allowed to own a gun, but his father has said that his son had mental problems and had previously been in an institution. Federal law bans the sale of guns and ammunition to certain people with a history of mental illness. Maynard is accused of shooting Sheriff Eugene Crum as he ate lunch April 3rd in a downtown Williamson parking lot. Well, an attempt to give more local control to cities and towns in the Mountain State now targets some gun ordinances. Yesterday, the House of Delegates amended a proposal to continue an experiment with what's being called home rule. The bill invites more municipalities to apply to be a part of it, but yesterday's change would forbid the participating cities and towns from regulating gun sales, carrying, or possession. Kanawha County Delegate Patrick Lanes proposed the amendment. A full House vote is expected sometime today. And students at a Texas college were back in class today after another student apparently stabbed several classmates earlier this week. Tuesday morning, 20-year-old Dylan Quick allegedly attacked a handful of people at Lone Star Community College. Investigators said that he slashed his victims with a razor utility knife. WVU Police Chief Roberts said that it doesn't matter what type of weapon anyone might have, they have to be treated rather as if they're dangerous. He told our cameras that even a pencil can kill someone if it's used the right way. Roberts mentioned that that's why if you notice someone acting strange, you need to call for help. In general, people should actually, if you can get away, get away. If you can't get away, then you should shelter in place and make sure that you turn your cell phones off and all those kinds of things that may attract attention to you by the would-be attacker. And immediately after Quick was arrested, he told police that he had been planning something like this since elementary school. Well, an inmate escaped from a local federal prison yesterday. Now the search is on to find him. Around 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon, it was discovered that 42-year-old Eugene Nicholas Cobbs was missing from the Minimum Security Federal Correctional Institution in Morgantown. Cobbs is serving 151 months for conspiracy to distribute more than 5 kilograms of cocaine and for serving as an airman without an airman certificate. He's described as a black man who's 5'10 and weighs 210 pounds. Anyone with information can call the U.S. Marshal Service. Their number is 623-0486. And Harrison County, a Harrison County home rather, was destroyed by a fire earlier this morning. Crews say that a man was asleep in his house on Watkins Lane when he woke up and smelled smoke. He was able to get out safely, but the home was destroyed by the fire. Some power lines were also knocked down in that area. Now, no word yet on what caused the fire. Clarksburg Fire Department was in charge of that scene. And let's take a quick look at what our newsroom's working on for tonight. For First at 5 and 5 News at 6. First up, more on the Mansion Toomey gun control legislation. We're going to find out if you think if it's enough. Plus, should it be your choice to buckle up behind the wheel? We're going to see what you think about a new law going into place 
And you know the saying that all good things must come to an end. Well, it's holding true for this weather as rain rolls in tonight. We're going to take a look at your first alert forecast with Ken Meehan tonight on First at Five and Five News at Six. And that's what's making news this uh, morning. Be sure to tune in tonight for First at Five and Five News at Six. Until then, have a great day, everybody.